Here are the strawberries that I got. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, so pretty. So I am going to rinse these off, take the caps off, and measure them. And I will bring you back. Good morning. Welcome to Pike Creek Farm. There's strawberries back there. Michigan strawberries. Oh, it is always exciting to get the Michigan strawberries. They're a little pricey, but they are beautiful. Let me show you what I love about them. Beautiful strawberries. Now, and this isn't even one of the reddest ones there, but. They're red in the center. They're totally right. Beautiful. So my plan, I want to preserve some. I'm gonna make a strawberry Hawaiian pie too. I'll bring you along for that. I haven't made one in a few years and oh, so good. Strawberries and pineapple and coconut. Can't go wrong. But today I am going to make strawberry lemonade concentrate. It's from this ball book. It makes seven pints. It takes six cups of those hulled strawberries and it takes freshly squeezed lemon juice. So I got a bunch of lemons. I got a bunch of strawberries. So what do you do when life gives you lemons? You're going to make lemonade. Strawberry lemonade. <laughs> so we have enjoyed all the other juices and concentrates that I've made, so we're gonna try this one too, and I've heard rave reviews on it. So come along, let's make strawberry lemonade concentrate. Okay, my strawberries are hulled, the green's taken off. The next step, is to take those six cups. I have my book. I'm making sure I'm following the directions because I've never made this before. In a blender or food processor, um, work in batches and puree the strawberries to smooth and then put them in a pan. So I got my Ninja cup and we're going to process. And then you add sugar and the lemon juice. I have to squeeze my lemons yet. Doesn't that sound like fun? <laughs> it should go pretty fast. You can use bottled lemon juice, but it won't have the same flavor because you know it's but some people do that. So when I squeeze on my lemons, if I'm short a little bit on lemon juice, then I will add bottled. <gasps> Look at the pretty color. Let's open. That was pretty fast. Yeah, it's all smooth. So into the pan that first batch goes. Here we go. Here we go. Dump this in. Get a spatula to scoop it all out. And next we do the lemons. The dogs are a little restless. We had some stray dogs, doodles, and I don't know, they escape and they run around and they get into trouble. And they just ran by our house. So. I am going to use my steam canner to make this. So I have its heating up with the correct amount of water in it. You can use a water bath canner. You don't have to use a steam 
steamer can. I just have really been enjoying using mine because it's a lot easier for me to handle, and especially for things like this. I need four cups of lemon juice. So I have a bunch of lemons here. I think I have some, a couple more in the fridge, and then I do have lemon juice because I'm not sure how much I'll get out of each one. So let me pull this over a little. cut several in half. They smell so good between the strawberries and the lemons. So I am going to, this is a pampered chef tool I have, but use whatever you have to get juice out of lemons. I'm going to keep squeezing these lemons. It's going to take a few. <laughs> and I will bring you back when I have all the lemon juice. I have four cups of lemon juice here. I did have, I did add some store-bought lemon juice. And I am going to put it through the mesh strainer into here. It says to um, add the lemon juice and sugar, six cups of sugar. So I know that there's some seeds in here. This is going to get the pulp too. I'm going to let some of the pulp go through. So next we add six cups of granulated sugar. This is a concentrate. So we're going to cook it, not bring it to a boil, but heat it up to 190. And then we jar it up. But when you go to use this, you use it 50-50 with water, um, ginger ale, sparkling water, iced tea. There we go. Now we're going to put this on the stove and get this. I got too much stuff out. Too much stuff in the works today. Too much stuff. Let me mix this in. Beautiful color. So it's going to be thick when we cook it. You know, it's not going to be lemonade consistency because it's a concentrate. Okay, it is ready to go on the stove. Let me turn the heat on. Have to stir it occasionally, it says and do not boil it. Then we're gonna remove it from the heat and skim off any foam and jar it up. My, I have my jars washed. Uh, I have lids. These are four jar lids and they do recommend um, putting them in some warm water to soften the compound. So I don't always when I pressure can, but when I water bath or steam can, I do with these. Uh, and. I will get seven because it says it makes seven pints. We'll see. Sometimes it's off. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. So I'm going to put seven into a bowl. I have water heating up in my kettle. And I will add it to these. So I'm going to get everything ready to jar it up now. And I will bring you back and show you what this looks like as it heats up. So see you real soon. Let me show you what it's looking like. I'm stirring just to make sure that the sugar is mixed in and it won't stick to the bottom. We want it to come to 190. We don't want it to come to a boil. It's a pretty color. Now, if you didn't want any, like there's like some small chunks, if you didn't want any of that, you could make sure it was pureed more or you, you could put it through a mesh strainer. It doesn't bother me because when you get real strawberry lemonade in a restaurant or anywhere, it has those chunks too. It shows it's real. <laughs> and I'm not a fan of pulp. So it's surprising that I would say that. So I understand if you have kids who aren't going to want pulp in it, definitely put it through a mesh strainer and that will get all those little bits. We are almost there. It's going up fast now. Once it gets to the 190, I'm going to move it over. I will move my steam canner over to this spot. I have it heating up back here, but I can move it easily. And I'll get my canning jars, which are washed and have boiling water in them. So we're almost to the point of jarring it up. And the foam I'm going to put into a container and I'll, I don't care if there's foam in a cup of strawberry lemonade. So let me see. It was over 180 just a couple seconds ago. Yeah, we're at 181, 2, Three, four, five, six. <laughs> it's getting there. Ah, 89, 90. There we are. We're there. I think I have all my tools out. <laughs> First, I'm going to scrape off some of this foam and I'm going to put it in this cup. I splashed strawberry down the front of me. That's why I wear the apron. <laughs> but still, now it has to go in the laundry. So, okay, so I got my jars. I got the strawberry lemonade concentrate. And we want this to go to one quarter inch headspace, just like jam. But it's not jam. I don't really think I need to debubble it. But it's such a habit. It's hard to not. It's a little bit more. Now I have some water and vinegar over here. And you want to make sure you get all that sugar off that edge so you get a nice seal. I have this little magnetic tool. I think it's from my mom. It was my mom's. <laughs> and you put the lid on, you add the ring to finger tight, and take my top off my steam canner and put that there. Ooh, it's so pretty. Now this is supposed to make seven and I did measure everything. But 
sometimes you know it's off a bit. I'm going to get that foam off. Let's see how, oh, you know what? That works like really good. <laughs> I forget the name of the viewer that gave me that tip, but thank you very much. Wipe the rim, put your lid on, finger tight steam canner. I know some people don't like canning these extras like this, but to me this is the kind of stuff that makes my pantry special. I mean, I can green beans and all the regular stuff, but sometimes like these juices and concentrates and Preserves are what really, I don't know, give that extra special touch. Well, this is the best tip ever. Use a slight bit more. There we go. Paper towel the vinegar. Now another good thing about doing this is that you can check again for any nicks. And you know what? I have a... I'm not sure if it's a nick or what here in this rim. Huh. Well, I'm not going to use that jar. It's not worth the risk. So that one goes off to the side. And I'll have to get another jar out maybe. We'll see if I get to the seven. So that's another benefit of wiping your rim. That was just a real small divot, but if it's on the top there, it could prevent a good seal. Bummer. But I'm glad I discovered it. So it was enough to get six, not seven. Okay, get to clean up all the mess. And I'm going to put the lid on the steam canner. Get it facing me and bring it up till it's in the green zone. Here's the foam. I'm going to just add some plain water to it. This is with the foam, so, and the jar is messed up <laughs> because of me putting the foam in. But it's really good. It, it tastes like when you go to a restaurant and you get like one of those fancy lemonades. Very refreshing, lots of flavor, 
And you could do so much with this. You can make adult beverages. <laughs> Time to put the timer on for 15 minutes. And I know I say this every time, but I always use my timer. It's just so easy to lose track. So I'm gonna lower my heat. It's up real high. I'll lower that quite a bit. I didn't realize I had it that high. And in 15 minutes, I will turn it off and then I let it sit for five to 10 minutes, then take the lid off. Timer went off, so turn off the stove. And I'm gonna set the timer. I'm gonna set it for seven minutes. Timer went off. So pull that off. And you can see like where there's the pulp in them. It's clear. So I'm gonna let them sit just a couple of minutes this way, and then I'm gonna move them over to a mat. Here is the finished product. They all sealed. Tomorrow morning, I will wash these off, take the rings off and label them and put them downstairs. And when I want to serve it, just shake it up and add equal amount of whether it's water or whatever other kind of liquid iced tea pop ginger ale but i am excited to have this on the pantry shelf as a different option you know great for a celebration having a birthday party and having company over what a nice summer drink Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time at Pike Creek Farm.